Oh, hey gang, how you doing? Jonathan here for Tail Hunter Sport Fishing, and it's time once again for the Mexican Minute La Paz Video Fishing Report, and this is going to cover all of the fishing action for our Tail Hunter Sport Fishing Fleet in La Paz, Baja, Mexico, for the dates of the 7th through the 14th. 2022. Wherever you are, hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for checking in. And if you like what we're doing, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, a like, and please don't forget to subscribe. Do us a big favor. Well, obviously I'm not coming from La Paz right now. We are in the Salt Palace in Salt Lake City where we're just finishing up the massive, and I'm telling you, the massive uh, Great Western Hunt and Conservation Show. It's been going on for four days. We're just wrapping it up, and I can't tell you how incredible it's been. There's over 700 uh, I think it's 700, maybe 800 vendors here, exhibitors from all over the world. Mongolia, Siberia, New Zealand, South Africa, and of course, us from Mexico. It's, I, I, I can't tell you how big a show this has been, and it's been packed. Jill and I have been in the booth every day for about 10 hours, standing up, talking, meeting so many new people, seeing so many old friends, so many old clients. It's great to have you all come in. If you can make it in, please do. It's going to end on Sunday, so, uh, or excuse me, it's already ending today, Sunday. But listen, our next show is going to be, we're going to be bonsai driving from Salt Lake City back to the West Coast, where the Portland Expo is going to be the site of our next show. And that's going to start on Wednesday. It's going to go from Wednesday to Sunday this coming week. If you can make it, if you're in the Portland area, if you're in, if you're in Oregon, come and see us because we're filling up. I know a lot of you are waiting until we come to your sh uh, do a, a show in your city, but excuse me if I'm, I'm rushing really quickly because the show is about to start and a bunch of people are going to start coming in. But don't wait till we come to your city for our next show. We've got four more shows, four more weeks on the road, and then we head back home to La Paz. But things are filling up. The calendar is filling up. If you know your captains, if you know what hotel you want to be in, if you're looking for a particular species, our regular season goes May to October, so don't get left out. We want to make sure we've got you covered. Okay, real quickly, let's talk about what's been going on in the pause. Now, if you've been listening to our reports, you know that over the last couple of months, April to, or excuse me, November to April is our off season because it's really, really windy, really, really erratic. You can get blown off the water. You got about a 50-50 chance of hitting some really, really heavy weather, big waves, stuff like that. It makes it really difficult to fish. Not many people at all are on the water. Well, this past week, things calmed down a little bit. It allowed us to put some folks on the water. Uh, there were more fishermen out, obviously, everybody taking advantage of that window. And you know what? There must be some warm water around because Dorado were caught, yellow uh, also picking up as well some nice 20 25 pound fish uh, especially around Saralvo Island and around Espiritu Santo Island Sierra are, are, are we're biting we also got some Jack Crevel Bonita Pargo Cabrillo so there was a lot of action this past week I really surprised a lot of people especially with the Dorado coming up I mean these weren't the little you know Doraditos that we uh, we usually catch early in the season these were some nice legit 10 15 even 20 pound fish so that's a good sign that maybe some warm waters coming in quickly and we're we're going to start the season a little earlier than normal. It really all depends upon the winds dying down, giving us an opportunity to get out there, but also an opportunity to get the live bait. And it also means that maybe things are going to warm up. It all depends upon the wind allowing us these opportunities to get out there. But as we move on, the winds are going to die down a little bit more. Waters are going to get warmer. We're going to start seeing more of these warm water pelagic species. So fingers crossed. Just want to give you a quick update. And also thanks Gary Wagner for sending in the photos this coming this past week. Really appreciate it. Like I said, Jill and I are going to be headed to Portland for the what's it called? It's called the Oregon Sportsman Show. There's so many shows we do. After that, quick little week off, and then we're going to come back to Oregon, and we're going to be in Bend, Oregon for the next show. A whole bunch of shows. The list of our programs are going to be at the end of this video, so check that out. I'm rushing really quick because a lot of folks are starting to come in. We're wrapping things up here in Salt Lake City. Thank you to everybody who's come by. Thank you to everyone who signed up. A lot of folks signed up. Really appreciate it. Looking forward to having you down. This is Jonathan for the Mexican Minute. Going to wrap things up. We'll catch you next week. You take care. God bless. Thank you.